Hi, everybody. It's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and it is Triple Play Day, and I am here with Natalie. And I'm here with Misty. That was a great surprise for you today. Yes. Yep, this was a fun one. This was a fun one. So this quilt behind me is my quilt, and this is called a round robin. Now, in the quilting world, there's a whole thing for round robin quilts, and what it means is that one person makes the center, and then you pass that off to your friend, and she gets to do whatever she wants to around it, and she passes it off to someone else, and by the time you get the quilt back, it's this whole different cool idea. Yep. So on this quilt, I designed the center right here. This is mine, I designed this middle, and Misty designed the next rows, and Natalie designed the last rows. The border. And so you're gonna get to see all of those, and um, we need to tell you how much fabric you need to make this, because this is a fabric quilt, this is a yardage quilt. And I guess all quilts are fabric quilts, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> Typically, <so>. yeah. <laughs> Mostly. There are, there are some. Mostly, yes. <laughs> but um, this is a yardage quilt, and we made these little charts like yes. this with our fabrics super on. Super helpful when you have a pattern that has fabric A, fabric B, fabric C, to get them just, just cut a little tiny swatch off of a scrap. Label make them. Make yourself a little chart so that you know which fabric you're gonna use for which thing. Because yeah. you'll think that you'll remember. You and won't. you won't. And <laughs> yeah. so you'll need this to reference. So you actually need five different colors uh, for this quilt. And this is fabric A. Girls, get your fabric A's. All right. And for fabric A, you're gonna need one and a quarter yards. Yep. And for fabric B, you're gonna need one and a half yards. There we go. And fabric C, you're going to need two and a quarter yards, and that includes your outer border. This is also your border fabric. Yep. Nice. And then fabric D, you need one and a half yards, and that's your inner border. Yep. And fabric E, you need a half yard, and that's these A, B, C, D, E, right? Yep. yep. Then you need your background, and I use this little golden stars. Natalie Beautiful. used Miss used, used white. white. Yeah. So that's your background, and for that background fabric, you're gonna need three yards of that. For your backing, you're going to need eight yards. <laughs> A 45 inch fabric, or you're gonna need two and three quarter yards of a 108. And this is my, mine. and this, look at Mine's yours. Quite I love lovely. this navy it's too. So it's pretty. so pretty. Yeah, really pretty. All right, then I'm so, the only one who has this fabulous last piece of fabric. You have the cutest. Because anytime binding. there's a stripe, I want it on the binding. So for your binding, you're gonna need three fourths of a yard, and of course, Mine had a Adorable. stripe. You can't resist. So, I had. So I had to do it. <laughs> All right. What is your line called? You have Holiday Charms. Mine is Holiday Charms by Studio RK for Robert Kaufman, and mine is Made My Day by Anna Maria Horner. Lucky so Duck. Excited for we love that girl. fabric. And mine is Gingham Foundry by My Mind's Eye for Riley Blake. Also gorgeous. Awesome. Beautiful. You know, I'm going to teach the, you this middle block here, but I can't wait for you to see the other quilts <laughs> because. <laughs> Fabric changes everything. It does. It's so fun to They're see. It's a really great size quilt, too. It's 87 by 87. It's a perfect size, yeah. And you'll see that each of us quilted with a different quilt pattern, and we'll tell you that as we go. But, Mom, you used um, I Snow used Winds. Snow Winds, yeah. It's beautiful. It's, really pretty. it's one of my favorites. It's hard wintry. to see on here. It's a but really it's a pretty wintry yeah. snowflake. Up here in the black, pattern. you can see the snowflake, and then it has these blowing, curly wind things, and then another snowflake. The it's other thing that's really cool one of my favorites. is on this quilt, you can't really tell, but this has metallic fabric, and then we also used a shiny gold. Um, mm -hmm. It's glide thread, but it's like a, it has a shimmer to it, and so that just is just beautiful. Just really sets pretty. it apart. It's, it's a fun such time a beautiful have, holiday line. Well, very the holiday's elegant. a fun time to have fun with your thread and do yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, so let's get our stuff and we'll show you how to make this quilt. Awesome. So making the center of the quilt was my job. I started first. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is my center right here. And I have four nine patches. And then I used five of our Lemoyne star, our Lemon star, our Jenny's doll quilt star. They're all mm -hmm. the same star. Yep. It's a half square triangle star, very easy and quick. And so this part right here is what you're gonna make first on this round robin. This is round one. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is make four of those nine patches. And so nine patches are made like this, very simple, two and a half inch strips. We're gonna do a strip set. 
One has our two greens on the outside with our background in the middle. The next one has two backgrounds with one green in the middle. And we're going to cut these into two and a half inch strips. And I'm just going to lay those on top of each other. You don't have to do that if, unless you want to. But I'm going to straighten up this edge right here. Let me make sure this is straight. When you are cutting multiple layers, you want to be really careful and make sure it's straight. <laughs> so we've got this right here. And I'm just going to come. I love this little ruler because I can just lay it on the edge. Cut two and cut two. And you're just going to go down and cut your whole strip like this. And you are going to need to make four of those. All right. So how we're going to make these is we're going to take two of these outsides and one of the middles and put them together just like that. Natalie, you want to do that? Sure. And then we'll just, we'll have so many nine patches, we won't hardly know what to do. <laughs> You can, I was going to say, you can sit. We'll let you sit for this part. Okay. So much <laughs> better. We really enjoyed doing this round robin. Round robin is something, like in quilt guilds and groups, a lot of people do these. Yeah. And, it, and the surprise element is so fun because you never know what somebody else is going to do. And it could be something simple. It could be an applique. It could be, I mean, you just never know what you're going to get. And so there's that feeling of anticipation and surprise. I love doing them. I think they're really fun. Wondering what's going to come next. Well, and it was fun <laughs> for us because um, we made a mock one mm -hmm. first. So I made a middle and then I handed it off. And then Misty made the next layer and she handed it off and Natalie made that third layer and we really didn't know what it was going to look like till the very yeah. end. And then of course we got the, uh, the fabric we wanted to use and we each chose three very different fabrics. Yeah, and I think you guys are going to love seeing how different these quilts look in those different lines. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. It really is. Can you press this of for us? Of course. There we go. All right. So now here's our little nine patch right here. And you can see we want it to match the size of these blocks. So we're going to put two pieces on either side right here. And I have some of those cut. These are, these are four inch pieces. So we're going to sew a four and a half inch strip on the bottom side of this. So it'll be four and a half by six and a half. Go ahead and do that, Natalie. Okay. And then it should be four and a half by ten and a half on the other side. And of course, I didn't know the size of this block until I made this block because yeah. they have to all line up, you know. So, so what was easy was once I got my, my nine patch done, then I cut this fabric to fit. All right, let's just finger press this back and okay. then you can add this four and a half by 10 inch piece on the side. All it doesn't right. matter what side you add it to because it can just be rotated. Okay. I was just gonna ask that. Super easy. <laughs> yeah. Same on all, all the sides. All right. All right, so she's sewing a quarter of an inch right down the side of that. All right, I'm not quite as speedy. <laughs> and then, Misty, if you'll press that. Of course. Okay. All right. So then you can see this is going to go here. Over here, it's going to go like this. Down here, it's going to go like this, and you're just going to flip it for all four corners. But now we need to make our little star blocks, and these are fun. So these are made out of five inch squares, and this is a really easy way to do it. So we're going to take um, a fabric A square, like this, and we're going to take a fabric B square, like this, and we're going to take a background square. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to sew one background square to the green, one background square to the red, and then we're going to sew a red and a green together like this. And are they all okay. sew all the way around the edges? Yep. So you've got you've got two of each, two of each square, mm -hmm. two greens, two reds, and two backgrounds, and we're going to go a background to a green and you're going to sew all the way around it. Okay. A background to a red and we're going to sew all the way around that. And then a background, the, I mean, I'm sorry, not a background, the two colors together, and we're going to sew all the way around that. 
The size of the square we're looking for this on this is a three inch, a three inch half square triangle. All right. So Natalie, while you're sewing these, I'm going to go ahead and cut this okay. and start squaring these. Now I like to use the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer. And these are going to square to three inches. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this. Now that this is sewn all the way around the outside edge like this, we're going to cut it diagonally both directions, like this and like this. And then I'm going to trim these to three. So I'm going to match my seam line on theirs. Trim this off like this. Misty, I'll let you press those open. Of course. And this, this will make one star. Do you want me to do the other one as well or no? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I gave them all to you. Yes, don't you stop. Okay. <laughs> we got to keep going here. I thought maybe you already had some made. Well, I do have some made. <laughs> It's true. I guess we could stop. All right. Let me get my three here. There we go. There's one. And two. And three and four. So you should have four of the red and background and four of the green and background and then four of our two colors together right here, which I'm going to do that. And this is a super easy way to make these little stars too makes it fast to get all the pieces you need. Well, it looks so hard, you know, and it is actually the shape of, um, what is that shape, Natalie? This shape right here, this long, elongated shape. A diamond? Is Trapezoid? It, is it a diamond? I don't know. I don't know, but it's a... A rhombus? A rhombus, oh, that's, that's what I was it. thinking of. And uh, um, A rhombus is just only like a square that's elongated. Well, that's what I feel like this looks like, a rhombus. I could be wrong. I think Did this all, one get all I descriptions are correct. There we go. All right. all right. So once you have your little piles together like this and you've got your red and white and your green and white and your green and red, what we're going to do is we're going to start building this from the center out. So I like to do a, um, and again, once you've made one, make sure you keep a look at it, but I like to do a pinwheel in the center with these, just like this, with the different colors and your seams all going to the middle. And then I build my star legs out. So then we're going to come on the green and we're going to come this way and this way, this way, and this way. And I do this because I'm fairly angly challenged, so I have to make sure it looks. And then when I put them together, I remember whites together, whites together, or the background together, like that and like this together. And then you're going to have uh, four little cornerstones. And the cornerstones, these squares, we've squared to, to three. So your little cornerstones are also going to be three inches. And I'm just going to measure this over and cut a couple. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then these will go in the corners right here like this. And that will finish your little star. Now, when I put this together, you can put it together in rows, you know, do what makes sense to your brains, put it together in rows like this, or I tend to do it in quadrants. So I'll make this block here where it has like a little four patch, but you have to be really careful if you do this because these are all going to go together in quadrants. So I have some over here that are already sewn in my little quadrants and then I'll have Natalie sew uh, one and we'll sew the block together. So here's my little quadrants right here. So you can see I have my two and I have my green and white and the red and white and the corner block. And we're going to put these together like this. And this is going to make our little 
And they're start. all they're all exactly the same. They are all yeah. exactly the same. So Natalie, if you want to sew that together, it sews together like a big four patch. Okay. These are these little seams at every every three inch where your block changes, that that is where you nest up. You can nest up this center as well. It has a little you know, you have your little dog ears on either side, which you can trim off if you want. And um, just make sure that those are nested up nice and tight. You have the next one. I do. And I have it Whoa. even pinned. I know you're shocked. Worried about me. <laughs> Let me take the pin out. Does it make you okay. nervous? Well, because I didn't match it up, I just not trust. She has to either. trust me. <laughs> okay. All right. Then we're going to open these up and sew together this way, like this. And if you did it perfect, which we did, it all works. <laughs> You just never know. You know, sometimes I've opened those up. Never can. We did that actually tell. yesterday with Misty. She opened up a step out and she was like, oh, this is, that is not right. This is not right. <laughs> it's true. It happens. It, it does happens. happen. I had a star leg that went it was upside down. It had a mind of its own. It did, yeah. All right, as soon as Natalie gets this done, we'll show you how to put this middle together. It's a very simple middle, and, uh, um, but it has a lot of pizzazz, I think. I think you know, it's it like, kind of sparkles. Whoa. Yeah. There you go. All right, if you'll press that open. You bet. I wish you the best. <laughs> oh. It is fine. It looks great. I got pieces everywhere. Are we good? Does it pass inspection? It, I think it looks great. All right. <laughs> so let's look here. So we've got our, our uh, what's this block, Natalie? Nine, nine patch. Nine patch. <laughs> My mind went completely blank. A nine patch block, a star, and a nine patch block. You're going to put this together in rows. And so we'll lay it out just like this. Nine patch, star, nine patch. You'll sew those three together. The next row is all stars. So you're going to have star, 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 and then your final row is also nine patch, star, nine patch. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole middle right here. That's my whole center, just those two little blocks, quick and easy. And now we're on to round two. All right. <laughs> All right. So mine is the second round. And so this is my quilt. This is the, the Gingham Foundry collection. And so exact same pattern, but isn't it fun to see? Yeah, I same love middle, the different Same colors. center, I love it too. And so, so sweet. when I was deciding what to do for my round, I loved how Jenny's center just sort of sparkled. And so I wanted to just carry that out. I wanted the whole thing to just kind of radiate from the middle. So that's what I was looking to do. And I thought it would be fun to include another star in there as well. And so I'm gonna start by teaching you how to make that star. And so we're gonna right. begin with um, our E fabric. We're gonna cut three and a half inch strips and cut those into three and a half inch squares. And then we're gonna have three and a half inch background squares as well. And I've gone ahead and drawn a line corner to corner and we're just gonna sew uh, a quarter inch on either side of that. And to make one star block, you're gonna need uh, four of these sets. But I have some of them already done, so. Well, and I heard you say e-fabric, that chart is so handy. It's exactly, that's why I said, you're gonna want to uh, have those close by so that you can refer to them. So we'll just cut that in half, and then Nat, if you wanna, actually, we're gonna square first. Okay, either way. <laughs> I almost had you press them too soon, but we're just gonna use the trimmer B from the Clearly Perfect Slotted Trimmers and trim these down to three inches. There we go, and then now you can press that one. I think it's great one. when you have when you can just slide it over to one side and just make that yeah. one cut. Yeah, I do too. That's such a... Makes it really quick. There we go. And then press that. A great quick step. And so these little sawtooth stars are so quick because we just, for each of the sides, are gonna put our whites together and we're gonna sew it together just like that. Alrighty. 
Cool. I can do that. I know you can. <laughs> And I'll get the rest of my pieces ready. So the center of our star is going to be five and a half inches. So I just cut a five and a half inch background square. And then we'll press this open. Okay. And we're going to surround it with our star legs that we made. So these are made the exact same way as the ones I showed you. And then we're going to put our three inch squares in the corner and they just go together in rows, just like that. So should we sew this one Perfect. together? Yeah, let's do. All right, yep. so these go on either side. Oh, and then these go on either side. There we go, next and one. That one, you press that mat. Yeah, these are great little stars. I like them. I think I like all stars. Yeah, I'm me too. Partial to them Mostly all. Mostly quilters do love stars. Yeah. I just can't help it. I, I know. Just look so they're, they're pretty happy and, quilt. and yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. We'll press that one back. Yep. And then we can sew our rows together. I Ooh. want this guy to go out. Yeah, make, it, make it behave. He doesn't want to. <laughs> I actually like to let seams go the way they want to go. Yeah, you know, sometimes, have kind of a... sometimes you have to. They just have a mind of their own. All right, so then we will sew these together. Perfect. There you go. And we'll add that one to the other side. I'm going to line and up so these this, squares This here. is what it's going to look like when it's all done. So, so quick. Quick and easy, yeah. And so then you're going to make four of those, and those are going to kind of anchor our next round in the four corners. So finish that up. There we go, and one more over one here. One more, yep. Yeah. So Nat, you can press that if you want. You need four of those, right? You need four of those for this round, exactly. No big deal, you guys You got it, that. super quick. And so then all that's left on this round is some big half square triangles and some big quarter square triangles. So let's do those half square triangles first. And to do that, you're going to use your C fabric, which this is that pretty yellow floral. And you're going to cut... I think oh, this whole line just looks it's pretty. so Scandinavian. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it really does. It's beautiful. And so you're going to cut uh, those into 11-inch squares, and you're going to pair it with an 11-inch background. And so same idea as our little half-square triangles. We've drawn that line, sewn on either side, and pressed them open. And so then these... And it's done. It's done. That's <laughs> it. And so you need eight of those. Do you square them to any size? You square them to ten and a half. Okay. So that's what all of these blocks are going to finish on this round. And then on a block that large, do you, you have to use a bigger... So oh, we yes, have bigger we have a okay. bigger trimmer. Perfect. So I'm going to show it for sure on the quarter square triangles, but it's the same idea. These ones have already been trimmed down, I think. Let me look here. There's my ten and a half. Yep, so see those just match up Perfect, perfectly. Yeah. And so you that's can awesome. get these bigger versions of the clearly perfect slotted trimmers. Oh, that's nice. And they're really helpful. So but then, I mean, you could also square that, oh, square with a that regular square block. up with a 12 inch totally. or 12 and you a half. A, yeah, if you have a big ruler. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. And so then for our quarter square triangle, we're gonna start um, the same way with our blocks, but these are a little bit bigger. These are 11 and a half inches because we're gonna sew them more than once. And so I actually need a pin so we can mark this for you since it's so big. I don't know where it ran off to. Oops. Here, you want this one? Yes, please. You've got a little bit bigger by ruler. Four down here. That will be, that'll do the trick for this bigger square. We're just gonna mark that corner to corner. And then if you would sew on either side of that one. Happy to. Thank you. That 
it's so interesting. We're so used to sewing the 10 inch squares. I know, we forget. I'm like, this we... is a long, long. <laughs> it goes yeah. a little bit longer, the long sleeve. Yep. But sometimes it's nice to have those big blocks that just go together so quick. Right. All right, so now we're gonna cut that apart. Right on that line. And this block was what size again? So it started at 11 and a half. 11 and a half, okay. Yep, and so then let's press that open, at least one. Okay. And so each of those you're gonna pair with an 11 inch um, background square. Okay. And we're gonna do the same idea, but we're gonna put it running, you know, opposite, opposite ways. And we're gonna sew on either side. Okay, very cool because we're just wanting this one little point. So and I love how what it background. does is it kind of sets that center on. Yeah, point. exactly. And nothing to match up here. No. Nope. You know, nothing that, well, the corners. Yeah. Other than that. They're just simple, straight sewing. There we go. And then we'll cut that one right on that line. And that will give us two of our quarter square triangles. And do you want to square yeah, that? Yeah, let's show how to square that before we press it because this big one is so great. That great seam in the yes. middle. Yes. And what size are we squaring? Ten and a half again, all of our blocks. So we've got- Very little got to that square, yeah. square off. I know, but there we go. There we go. <laughs> I could still see my lines, but- It's funny how it, it doesn't make a difference, but it kind of does. Kind of does. Okay, so there we go. Now my um, my center seam is lined up with this solid line and my stitch line is lined up with the dash line this way. So I can just trim off my little notches on either side here. It's kind of nice having them on the outside edge there. <laughs> yeah, it really is, isn't it? Yep. You don't have to fit it in the little slots. Oops, missed a tiny little thread there. There we go. Maybe, <laughs> you wanna press that. There we go. Just like that. That is just quick and it's clever. Quick and easy. And so you can see those sit there in the middle. You and then four of those. you need four of those. Your half square triangles go on either side and those star blocks in the center. And then we added a three and a half inch border all the way around. And next up is Natalie. Yay. Woo. Border time. All right, well, we are ready for round three, and that's I got the, Natalie. I got the fun part of adding a border, and I thought a pieced border would be very interesting and fun it's to beautiful. learn. It's gorgeous, Matt. And I think this is one of those borders that really looks a little bit more difficult. It looks, it's, you look at it and you're like, oh, that's gotta be advanced. That has to be something hard, yeah. but it really isn't. It's just it's half still square just triangles. It's still just sewing this far at a time. And also, we just have to talk about this fabric for just a second. Oh, yes. It's so pretty. Anna Maria Horner is a fantastic artist and designer, and I've always loved her fabrics. It's just it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Made my day. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's the name of the line, but it totally made my day that I got yeah. to use her yeah. fabric. So um, I quilted it with sticky buns, and you can see that we've got three and a half inch border here a three and a half here and a six here. We can do that on the side as well. I can show you this gorgeous oh my backing. Oh man, this is Her beautiful. fabrics are just so beautiful. That's lovely. I might need a dress out of that. So, yes, I'm hoarding the scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, again, I, I do highly encourage, if, if you ever have a pattern that has multiple fabrics, any so anything helpful. that has fabric A, fabric B, block A, block mm -hmm. B, make yeah. yourself a little chart, a cheat sheet. Whatever you want to call it, it's so, so worth the and time. It'll save so much time in the long run. Yep, totally. Okay, so what we're going to do first on this is make the four corner blocks. I know it seems like it's all one big piece, but these four corner blocks are totally different than the rest of the, um, the border. Well, you made it look good. Yeah, it all blends so, together. So the corner blocks all look just like this. Okay. They're very simple. They simple are. half square triangle blocks. It's just a little four patch. So we're gonna start with four and a half inch squares. Because we're just making simple half square triangles, we're just gonna draw a line from corner to corner. And we are going to make a set that has the background and the A fabric. So I'm if ready. you will I'm just ready for you. stitch on either side of that line. And then I'm gonna draw on the back of this one. There we go. 
and we're going to put these two together because you'll notice in this block we have two that have the A fabric with a white background. Sorry about that. And then we have one in this corner that's got an A and a B fabric. So we're going to make a couple more half square triangles. Can't cut with yeah, the you pen. Want that? <laughs> I was going to try though. I was going to try really hard. So we can go ahead and square these with this one because they all square to four. I'm gonna look at my bobbin. It's a little little bit lumpy. It doesn't Is look terrible, but it's- Tension funky. I'm just gonna look at it. Just check it while we'll you can. You, uh, check it while I got a minute here. I'll have you press those Like 90% of all things, when something's wrong with your machine, 90% of it is in the threading or the bobbin. Right. You'll be like, my sewing machine's not working. Flip your bobbin around, yeah. refill it. Maybe it's too close to the end. Yep, actually this one. Maybe your top thread is off a little bit. Right. I'm just going to redo the whole thing while I'm waiting because I got a minute. Did you trim this Awesome. One? Not no, yet. You just cut it apart. Not yet. Sorry. I'm getting there though. No, it's okay. I just didn't want to get ahead of you. No worries. We are there doing we just fine here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are doing just fine. We're on round three. We're That's great. Right. These quilts are all so fun though. I know, I love how different they all look. Me too. All right, so then these blocks go together just in a simple four patch. You're gonna put your, um, your A fabrics together to make that little diamond and that just creates this, this line that goes across so that it continues the zigzag. And then you are gonna put a four inch square up in the corner and we'll stitch that together. Nice. Like a little four patch, super simple. And then you do that four times, cause you know, four, four corners. corners. Yeah. <laughs> and it works out just great. Awesome. Now, because I left my thread in between. And that's can... a cool trick. I love doing that yeah. with, um, when you're piecing four patches or even nine patches, if you, if you leave them lined up and you sew you know, top to bottom, then you can flip it those threads attached. Yep. Continue you your little chain piecing adventure. That is so fun. I mean, even this block, think about four of these together. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> great. <laughs> I mean, you can make some diamonds, Ooh. you can yeah, yeah, switch them. Um, I mean, yeah. there's lots of fun things. So these Way go too many what in if your factors corners. In your mm -hmm. And now it's time for this little zigzag and they are literally all the same block. Okay. Oh my gosh. So very fun. So we are going to start by drawing a line corner to corner. This time we're starting with five inch blocks because we're going to seam it twice mm -hmm. okay. and we want to get to four inches. So we need enough space to take a couple seams and still be able to square that down. Now, yes. All so, right. And what I so was looking at, we're going to sew on either side. Um, this is the block. I need one of these individual blocks that I can pick up. Hiding somewhere? In here somewhere, maybe. Here we go. Just one. So what I was what I was looking at when I looked back at the quilt to check myself and make sure I was teaching right, um, the A fabric is underneath, which means that's the one you're going to start with because this is the one that's going to go on last. Okay. okay. So if you're ever looking and, you know, forgetting which one to begin, Look for the one that's inside because your your larger piece mm -hmm. obviously is gonna go on last. Okay. Maybe not obviously. But I actually had never thought about that, but that's a good little trick. So we're yeah. going, going to press these open. We're not okay. gonna trim yet. And then we're gonna take a four and a half inch square of this darker one because these should be roughly four and a half inches now and line those up. And if it's a little bit big, if it's a five inch, it doesn't really matter. We haven't squared anything yet, but what we need is to put this here. And we're gonna draw another line and it can be on, probably on your lighter fabric. Whoops. Well, unless you have like a white pen or a silver it, pen. You, yeah, but well, I usually look for the lightest one. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> All right, and then you're going to uh, stitch again on both sides of the line version of the block we did earlier for mine. Yes, totally. It. Yep, I so if you it. can master it big, then you yeah, can get you ready can for this here. quarter and be all set. Totally. All right, we're gonna cut these in half. I keep on wanting to grab something, anything besides a rotary cutter to do <laughs> cutting. I think you'll, you can notice real quickly that these are opposite blocks. So you have an A block oh, and a B block yeah. to okay. make this and you get them both yeah. through this process. So 
nothing super scary. Just just know that they're different and maybe make separate piles to keep, see? <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? Let's just move these out of Move the all the other tools because I'm going to try and cut with anything <laughs> that's not a rotary cutter today. That's so funny. All right. Again, we're squaring these to four inches. That's our... Um, that's our finished, our unfinished size. Not much waste. Not no. a lot of waste. All right. Is and that really, one? that is it, guys. Oh, I love it. That's it. So now it? you're gonna you're gonna make little block sets, and you can make pairs of both. Um, you can um, you can kind of do this two ways because most of your Essentially, it is the same thing, but one block has to off or one row has to offset the other row. So, um, so what happens if you can see these? So, say say that you put them all together in this method, it will still work. You just slide it over, and then you have to put an extra one on the side. Okay. Okay. But if you put them all together this way, so you have half this way and half this way, then they just line up perfect like that. Does that make sense? So half this with so, the yellow in the middle. So you have half, half with, with your yellows in the middle and half with your purples in the middle. Wow, and, look at and that. And it makes that this, so this block. Cool. So you get all the pieces and then you just and sew just them together. And through. what I would do is I would go ahead and do, you know, two piles. One pile of all of these guys and one pile of all of these little guys. So you have, you have your two separate piles. Mm -hmm. Then I would stitch them together in long rows. And then I would do um, my top to the top and my bottom to the bottom and then put the sides on or vice versa because yeah. they're, it's a square quilt. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's like you have eight blocks across there and then mm -hmm. your corners. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So, and I mean, the diagram is there to help you figure out which ones go where, but it is, it really is this simple. That wow. So, I love that. That's awesome. awesome. Super easy. And again, three and a half, three and a half and six. And our quilt is enormous. Yeah, eight, I think it's 87 inches square. 87 yeah. square. Yeah. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's great awesome. Size. It's a great size. That's and so you could size. you could add a bigger border if you wanted more drop. Yep. Whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Gosh, yeah. No, this yeah. is so, fun. This very is cool. Fun. So right. much fun. So I hope that that I hope that helps because this is a fun border to put on any quilt. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you get a round robin, you could use this border on yours. Yes. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> All right. And because it's a half square triangle, you know, depending on what size you actually needed mathematically, you could square them down to three and a half or leave them at four and a half, whatever, you know. I mean, it's, right, it's a half then. square triangle. You can Perfect. make all kinds of cool things with it. Yep, love it. So love it. hope you enjoy. So I think this round robin was really fun. I loved it. I loved it, it too. Great. It was so it fun. Too. So the round robin is a style of quilting. So we actually named our quilt Sparkling Stars because mm -hmm. there's lots of little stars in it and yeah. big stars and three different kinds of stars. And, and I think so each individual quilt has a sparkle all a its sparkle own. All its own. <laughs> all its own. <laughs> I love what you did there, Nat. I love yeah. what you did there. <laughs> so anyway, cute. and uh, and I love the borders. I love the rounds. I just think it was really fun. So we hope you guys enjoyed this today tutorial on our Sparkling Stars Round Robin Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here with Natalie and with Misty and we hope you enjoyed watching our latest triple play. You can find us together on the third Friday of each month as we hit another tutorial out of the park. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified each time we release a new video. See you next time. time.